Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime summertime girl. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I won a game of Arena as a bot. And hopefully, you can get some tips and tricks to get a win yourself. If you're a noob, that is. If you're not a noob, then this video is probably not for you. But for entertainment purposes, you might as well watch it anyway, because it's going to be pretty good. <laughs> All right. So when I drop in, I go towards the edge of the main structures, because I know that most people are going to go to the buildings. And if I go to the buildings, I'm going to be getting a gunfight before or just after I pick up a gun and I've got no shield. So I go to where I know there's chests spawning in to get the guns, get the bullets, get the shield, shield up, and then hopefully get into a fight that doesn't require too much building because by doing that, I'm not getting the maps that I need to crank them 90s and edit like an absolute noob. After shielding up, I notice there's somebody in the building ahead of me. I can see him go up the stairs, but at this point, I've only got a revolver pistol and an auto shotgun. So I'm like, hmm, this isn't going to go very well if I take a pop shot at him. I'm probably going to die. One tip is to turn on visual sound effects if you haven't done so already. It's in your settings. You can see chests, footsteps, people healing. You can see birds. You can see God knows what. And this is how I knew that there was a person in this room in the corner healing up. So I get out of my shotgun and I'm like, bang, bang, bang. You're dead. Thank you very much, visual sound effects. You have just got me a kill. Another quick tip for you is to use splashes. Splashes are a quick heal. So if you play in solo, then it's incredibly useful if you're in the middle of a gunfight and you're low on health. If you're on duos, trios, or squads, then perhaps your teammate can take away some of the fire so they're not quite as necessary, but use splashes in solos. Again, visual sound effects. As you can see, I saw footsteps on my screen. I can't see the player, but I can see footsteps so I know which direction they're in. Now, I've got this person in my sight. Take a few shots and they start putting up some walls. And they're very good at putting up walls. Congratulations on that. But I know that because of his walls, I can't get a shot off. So I have to reposition. Now, positioning is everything. Reposition, reposition, reposition. Never peek from the same angle. See what I mean? He was peeking and I thought that I was still in the same position. But by the time that he'd even done that, I've moved and I can get some quick shots off and take the kill. Again, visual sound effects. I can see there's a car coming in and he's probably going for that supply crate. I'm a sneaky little ninja, so I sneak upstairs, crouching so he doesn't see my footsteps. There's a guy there. Shoot him. He's in the open. Go and get him. No, he puts up a wall. I didn't get the kill, but he's pretty damaged. So I take the wall down and I managed to get the kill. There we go. I've got his loot. I've got the supply crate loot. And I didn't use any mats because what's the point in building if you're in the right position, eh? Next tip, play the edge of zone. As you can see, the storm is behind me and I've got a one minute, 30 seconds before the storm starts moving again. So I make an early rotation and get ahead of the storm. Come into the last few circles. I try and get as central as possible. The more central I am, the less movement I have to make as a circle reduces and gets smaller. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to take as many shots at people as possible to damage them and reduce their heals, whilst also staying within cover and avoiding their shots as well. As you can see, I'm getting a few cracks off on people, but not managing to get the actual down itself. Therefore, I decide it's probably a good idea to build up a little bit of a base and take some cover myself because things are about to get pretty heated and pretty intense. Just below me, there's a car pulling in. So I build a little bit higher because I don't know if he's running a gun in for me. I'm going to be like, bang, dids, you is dead. Then I notice, thanks to visual sound effects, that someone's paragliding in. So I pull up my shotgun, get the crack, get the SMG out, get the kill. Oh my days, that was amazing. I can breathe now. Nope, someone's on the cone way far ahead of me. So I get the crack on him. He manages to take out my shield. So I reload, put a roof on and a cone on for double protection. Always put the roof and the cone. Now I've got someone sniping at me. So instead of peeking and getting shot in the face, I wait until he has to move in with Storm. Take a few shots at him and notice there's someone to my right shooting at him as well. Who's the bigger threat? The one to my right. He's closer. Take a few shots at him to cause him to have to build and take cover. This allows me to focus on the person I was originally shooting at. I get the crack on him, build a little bit higher and decide to focus back on the person on the right. Take a few shots at him and manage to get the crack. Then, out of nowhere, I get shot in the back and my shield goes, takes a little bit of health. So I build a little bit of cover and start healing. Whilst I'm chilling on top of my base, I notice someone's down below trying to break it down. So I make the decision to drop down. I pull out my shotgun and try and figure out where he is with the visual sound effects. Take a shot, switch to the SMG, and he's gone. One more down, and I get a cheeky crown as well. The zone's now pushing me out of my base and further and further into the open. I notice there's a base in the distance, probably even someone camping on top of it. I don't know what gun he's got, but he can definitely take a few shots at me if he wants. Therefore, I try and use as many of the trees as cover as possible as I move closer and closer into zone. He does notice me. I have to throw up a few walls and take some cover. I decide to move closer to his base 
And as I do so, he notices me. He does take a few shots, so I make a quick sprint underneath to get out of his line of sight. I hear him drop down, so I run around his build and decide to build up slightly, trying to throw him off. I hear him underneath me, so decide to drop down and try and take a few shots at him, but he manages to put up the walls and evade them. I then tactical sprint away and decide it's probably best for me to get back on the high ground. Therefore, I build a little bit higher this time and try and keep him underneath me for as much as possible. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm focusing on that visual sound of his footsteps, trying to keep my focus on that at all times, pointing my crosshairs to where I think he's going to be coming out from. The storm's now pushing us away from the base, so I build some floors to stay above him. I make the decision to jump down when I do because the storm's pushing him out. Take the shotgun, take the SMG, and he's gone. There we go. And that is how I Let's win. Let's go. A <laughs> you can hear me in the background. And that is how I win a game of Fortnite. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, you got a few tips and tricks. Don't forget to drop a cheeky little like on it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. That being said, I will see you on the next one. Take care. Stay happy. Keep smiling. Stay true to you. And goodbye. I also stream over on Twitch and Facebook. Go ahead. Click the links on the screen right now and drop a little follow. Hopefully you'll catch me live one day. It'll be great to see you there.